Radiologic technologists play a vital role within the healthcare team. The following presentation will provide an overview of the role of a radiographer, the educational requirements, and career advancement opportunities. Many patients who visit the hospital require an imaging study to help the physician properly diagnose their condition. A radiologic technologist is a medical professional who assists the radiologist in various radiographic studies. The radiologic technologist is responsible for correctly interpreting orders, explaining the procedure to the patient, and answering the patient's questions, while acting as a liaison between the patient and the radiologist. Students first complete two to three years of prerequisite courses at a university focusing on anatomy and physiology, chemistry, and physics. Following the completion of on-campus coursework, students must then apply and be accepted into a professional internship program in a hospital setting. Typical internship programs are 40 hours a week of clinical and didactic coursework. Upon completion of the internship, students will receive a Bachelor of Science degree in Radiologic Sciences. Students then become eligible for the ARRT board exam in radiography. ARRT stands for American Registry of Radiologic Technologists. Once you become a registered technologist, you may work all shifts to include evenings, nights, weekends, and holidays. Most modalities in radiology use ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation has the potential to change cells in the body which can cause biological harm when exposed for long periods of time or at very high doses. Because of the exposure to ionizing radiation, radiology as a profession was once thought to be dangerous. With many changes in safety policies and procedures, it is now considered to be a safe occupation. Our radiology department works closely with the physics department. This assures patients that they are receiving the lowest radiation dose possible while still providing the radiologist with diagnostic images. Lead aprons and shields help protect radiology staff and patients. Technologists and radiologists both wear thermoluminescent dosimeters, also known as TLDs, to check the amount of radiation received while working. A general radiologic technologist works with inpatients and outpatients who have a large variety of pathologic conditions and capabilities. Depending on each patient's level of mobility, they may be brought to the department by wheelchair or cart. Some of the most frequent exams include chest and abdomen x-rays. The radiologic technologist must be highly adaptable to each patient's needs while obtaining high-quality diagnostic radiographs. The following video is a demonstration of a two-view chest x-ray. The technologist confirms the patient's identity by verifying full name and birth date. Since this patient is female and under the age of 50, the technologist must inquire on the possibility of pregnancy. Hand hygiene is performed prior to the procedure. The patient is instructed to place her chest up against the image receptor. The patient is properly positioned with shoulders relaxed and rolled forward. The lead shield is positioned behind the patient. The patient is instructed to take in a big breath, blow it out, then take in another big breath in and hold it. The exposure is made on full inspiration. The patient is then instructed to place her left side against the image receptor with arms elevated, removing them from the exposure field. The technologist ensures the patient is properly positioned in the true lateral. The lead shield is placed next to the patient. The same double breathing technique is utilized, and the exposure is made on full inspiration. Here is an example of a correctly positioned PA and lateral chest x-ray. A radiologic technologist plays a vital role in emergent situations. They must respond to pages including stroke, cardiac arrest, and major and minor traumas. When responding to trauma situations, some basic rules to follow include 1. Do not panic. 2. Do no further harm. 
and three, wear personal protective equipment such as gloves, gown, and a mask if necessary. The following images were obtained in trauma situations. Critical thinking skills are vital in the trauma setting. Technologists must think quickly about how to obtain images without causing further harm. A portable x-ray exam is an alternative for patients who cannot come to the imaging department for x-rays. Portable radiography is commonly utilized in the intensive care unit, neonatal intensive care unit, and in the emergency department. It is important to continue to follow Alara when performing portables. This can be accomplished by wearing a personal lead apron, maintaining distance between oneself and the primary beam, and selecting proper techniques. Some of the most routine portable exams include chest, abdomen, and extremity x-rays. Portable radiography is greatly appreciated because it increases efficiency. Fluoroscopy is an area of radiology that utilizes live x-ray imaging as a tool to aid with many diagnostic procedures. Some of the most common types of examination studied in the fluoroscopy suites involve the gastrointestinal system. All these exams the most frequently performed is of the upper gastrointestinal system, better known as an upper GI. Upper GIs help the radiologist see the GI tract in motion by obtaining images during the exam. The tissues of the GI tract have similar densities and contrast agents are used to differentiate individual organs. To help visualize the GI tract, radiologic technologists use contrasts such as barium, crystals, and water-soluble agents. Fluoroscopy helps determine the cause of patient symptoms. Some common indications for upper GIs include dysphagia, which is difficulty swallowing, abdomen pain, chronic heartburn, and vomiting. Other examinations that occur under fluoroscopy include barium enemas and defecal grams. Fluoroscopy is also used to image other body systems, such as the musculoskeletal, urinary, and nervous systems. As a radiologic technologist, we prepare the sterile tray and assist the radiologist during the procedure with imaging and equipment manipulation. In all procedures, radiation protection protocols must be followed, including the selection of proper techniques and wearing lead aprons. Many areas of the clinical environment can be quite challenging for a radiologic technologist. However, few are more demanding than the operating room. There are several surgical procedures performed daily that require the services of x-ray imaging, such as orthopedic, neurology, urology, and endoscopy. The duty of a radiologic technologist working in surgery is to provide rapid and accurate radiographic images per the surgeon's request while maintaining sterile integrity. Most images taken in the operating room are obtained with a portable x-ray machine or a C-arm. The C-arm consists of an x-ray tube and a monitor, which obtains fluoroscopic images. Several surgical areas and workers are considered sterile. In the sterile field, anyone or anything that is non-sterile must never touch the sterile environment. All sterile items are covered in blue drapes. Although the radiologic technologist is considered non-sterile, it is still necessary for the technologist to wear a surgical mask and a hair covering. Another extremely important trait for the radiologic technologist working in surgery is to possess excellent communication skills. It is important for the technologist to effectively communicate with not only the surgeon, but also other members of the surgical team regarding issues of patient safety, radiation protection, and image acquisition. A radiologic technologist is responsible for obtaining images to ensure proper placement of surgical hardware. The following are post-operative images. A radiologic technologist can specialize in advanced imaging modalities such as computed tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, mammography, and interventional radiography. These advanced imaging modalities require some additional structured education and exam-specific clinical training.
Computed tomography, commonly known as CT, provides sectional images or slices of anatomy in three different planes, coronal, sagittal, and axial. The CT machine contains an x-ray tube that rotates 360 degrees around the patient providing images in the axial plane. These images can be reconstructed into coronal, sagittal, and 3D images. Some pathologic conditions that may warrant CT scans include tumors, strokes, aortic aneurysms, pulmonary emboli, trauma, renal stones, sinusitis, spinal stenosis, disc herniation, and fractures. These are coronal and axial views from a CT scan of the abdomen. Magnetic resonance imaging is often referred to as MRI. Much like CT, MRI produces images in three different planes, coronal, sagittal, and axial. The body part being scanned is placed in a customized coil which is designed to concentrate energies specifically to the area being scanned. Many MRI scanners use a 1.5 to 3.0 Tesla magnet, but can be at even higher strengths. These powerful magnets create a very strong magnetic field surrounding the scanner. For comparison, a refrigerator magnet only has the strength of a 0.05 Tesla. This video demonstrates a metal badge holder attracted to the magnet within the MRI scanner. It is vital that patients and personnel be screened before entering the MRI suite. The screening form is in place to prevent potentially dangerous situations from occurring. Some items that are not allowed in the MRI scanner are hearing aids, dentures, insulin pumps, stethoscopes, phones, oxygen tanks, and more. Certain items have been made MRI safe and are labeled with an MRI safe sticker. Some patient care items made safe are MRI safe wheelchairs, headphones, and patient monitoring equipment. The following images are a sagittal view of the brain and a sagittal view of the lumbar spine. Many CT and MRI exams require an intravenous injection of contrast material to highlight and distinguish between similar tissues. It is important to verify patients' allergies and review screening forms. Prior to starting an IV, it is critical to obtain all necessary supplies and perform hand hygiene. Mammography plays a very important role in the detection of breast cancer. Breast cancer is one of the leading causes of death in women. The purpose of a mammogram is to detect breast cancer long before a mass would be palpable in order to increase the chances of survival. Precise positioning in mammography is key to adequately visualize all of the breast tissue and allow for decreased number of repeated images. Since breast tissue is especially radiosensitive, using the least amount of radiation is important. Interventional radiology is a subspecialty of radiology in which minimally invasive procedures are performed using fluoroscopic guidance. The interventional radiology staff includes radiologic technologists, nurses, and interventional radiologists. The radiologic technologist prepares the patient, the sterile field, and assists the radiologist during the procedure. The purpose of using sterile technique is to minimize the possibility of infection. In this modality, the radiologist places a variety of wires, catheters, and endographs, which the technologist must become familiar with to successfully assist the radiologist. If you are interested in a career that offers a wide variety of experiences in a fast-paced environment, radiology might be for you. We hope you enjoyed our presentation on what a career in radiology looks like. If you have any questions, please submit them to your teacher and we would be happy to get back to you.